my name is Luke Warner and in this video I will re be reviewing the video game mainly found on computers, Counter-Strike Global Offensive or more popularly known as CSGO. Let's get started. Counter-Strike Global Offensive was released on August 21st, 2012. In this addition to the Counter-Strike series, the content of the game has veered off its steady course of succession. In the game, the player mode is mostly confronted by player versus player combat and little storyline. The game consists of multiple game game modes which can be created by Valve and the CSGO community. The main modes which are popular among the player base are Competitive, Wingman, Demolition, Surf, B-Hop and 1 vs 1. These modes are both by the developers and the community. The Competitive mode has an easy to follow objective which requires 5 vs 5 combat in the mode the two teams are split into terrorists and counter terrorists. This has been used before in previous counter strikes and is seen as the main content for the game itself. The game mode lasts till either one of the team is victorious or the max amount of rounds are played. This in this case, it's 30 rounds overall, or first to 16 rounds won. To win the rounds, the terrorists, and the terrorists must plant or detonate the bomb on the enemy team's bomb site, whereas the counter terrorists must defend the bomb sites and eliminate the terrorists. As you begin to uh, win more games, the difficulty of the opponents beca uh, becomes increasingly harder to do. This is done via the ELO ranking system that Counter-Strike uses. The competitive mode has a total of 18 different ranks which are uh, separated via skill level. This gives the player something to play for and rewards them at, for, at the end of every good deed that is done throughout Counter-Strike. Every game mode in Counter-Strike uh, consists of counter-terrorist and terrorist models. These are split up into different categories that are mainly in action and violent genres. As the game is, for the main part, a multiplayer game, the characters are more like playable models. Throughout the game, the map changes to different locations. This changes the origin of the character models that you are playing. For example, if the map were to be placed somewhere in France, the responding counter-terrorism unit would be Gigan. This makes the character's voice lines being said in French in a French accent instead of a generic counter-terrorist accent. Oh, no. For terrorists, it will be similar but there's so much variety it's just hard to tell. CSGO was initially released on multiple games platforms which are as follows. Microsoft Windows, Xbox 360, PlayStation and OS X. Two years later the Linux port was finally available and was released in September of 2014. The game received most of its popularity via the computer ports. This is still unclear why but I believe the players are more able to advance mechanically for all the game and playing on consoles. The product has now reached a stage where the developers no longer need to add any new content as the game is a, a big part of the esports scene. This game is one of the most viewed games all over the world via streaming websites like Twitch and YouTube. The game is consistently played at big area, uh, area events which are played by professional teams. These teams are sponsored by popular companies which give the game a bigger presence to the outside gaming world. The target audience for this game is not much different to the previous Counter-Strike games as they share the same content, just in a different game's engine and visual aspect. As the game is a first person shooter, it's mostly directed the action adventure game fanbase. The game also includes mature content such as acts of terrorism, this limits the, game full, the game's full audience as this is not easy to hide to the younger ages. In my opinion, CSGO is one of the greatest products to join the Counter-Strike series. Okay, you have some issues which can be game-breaking at times, but the developers don't let these sit for long. Now that the bugs and glitches are out of the way, you're left with a replayable game which can be entertaining for hours as a huge part of the game is to connect with the community. I gave this a high rating as the game doesn't have much to offer the player, but it consistently drags you back into the action from sheer randomness of how the game turns out. The visuals are not exactly groundbreaking, but they are easily portray the mood of the game. This allows the player to focus more on how the game is being played out. This doesn't make the player stray away from the competitiveness of CSGO. The audio in this game is plain and simple, which allows the player to once again focus. As the game is highly strategic, you would not want to hear consistent epic music whenever something remotely amusing happens. As for the music, the game doesn't contain much aside from the loading and main menu scenes. 
Seems Go is a fast paced competitive game which you can make you feel immortal at times. If you don't want to go out the whole serious route of play, you can kick back and enjoy yourself on a community made server which has a whole load of mini games which allows the player to enjoy multiple things in a quite serious game. That concludes my Counter Strike Global Offensive review. Thanks for listening. Thank you.